In Notion, you can add sub items in any database and show them in three ways. Nested in toggles with a reference to the parent item and as a flattened list that doesn't show any toggles or reference between parent and sub items. This video explores sub items in Notion, looking at a task database and showing how to activate sub items, how to use them and how to display them in different ways in database views. The first basic thing to know about sub items in Notion is that they are relation properties to the same database. They are very often applied to tasks because tasks can sometimes have parent and sub items to complete in a checklist format, but sub items within Notion can be applied to any Notion database. For this example, let's use a task database, so a database that is called tasks and that we use to track tasks. Right now, you can see there is a flat list of tasks. To activate sub items, which is the purpose of this video, I will go to the three dots on the top right corner next to the new button within the database view. I will then scroll down to subtasks that is available here on subtasks. This will create a relation property within the same database. So if I go to properties, I can see here that there is now a subtask and parent task relation property added to the database. These properties are powering the views where subtasks are displayed. When I go to the subtasks menu now, I can see the overview of what subtasks mean, that is having a parent task as a toggle and then subtasks nested within. And for example, let's say these two tasks are actually subtasks of the review research results, just like that. And you can see that they are now displayed nested within them. And these two tasks are going to be associated with build data dashboard. So here we have them. One parent task that is review research results, for example, is composed of two subtasks right here. If I open the review research results page, I can see the subtasks displayed on the page as well as a relation property, which means I can easily click on them to go to those pages. If I want, I can display subtasks as a page section, which might be more appropriate so that when I open the parent task, I can see all the subtasks within that page and also directly show some properties such as the assignee, the status, the G date, the priority directly in here, where I can also link to additional pages within the task database, or I can directly create new subtasks from the parent task page. Let's go back to the subtasks configuration menu. And in here, the first thing that I notice is that there is an option to show as nested in toggle. That is the current option that we have. And if I click on it, there are three options when it comes to showing sub items on a database view, nested in toggle, parents only, or flattened list. So right now they are nested in toggle because I can open this toggle right there. And if I go here and I do parents only, I can only see the parent items in the database. And if they have subtasks, I can see this arrow here with the number two, that is the number of subtasks associated with that parent task. This keeps the view cleaner. And if I open the parent task, I can still see all the subtasks on the page just like before. And the third option is to show a flattened list. When the list is flattened, both the parent and the sub items are displayed on the database. And for sub items, the parent item is shown in the smaller test and grayed out. That is a symbol indicating that there is a parent task associated with that subtask. On the configuration manual for subtask, there is also advanced settings. And this one is only to configure what property you want to use for subtasks that is automatically set by Notion itself when you activate subtasks in a database. So you do not really need to edit this usually, unless there, there might be some confusion in the database in terms of self-referential relation properties, and you need to select which one to use in a specific view. And you can also decide whether the nesting should be displayed on the title that is, is always next to the title, or if it can just be displayed at the far left view of the database, regardless of whether there is the title there or another property. But if you do not use the nesting, for example, you use the flattened list, that setting is not relevant because there is no nesting right there. You can finally turn off subtasks from this option and this will also delete the properties. So you will not be able to use subtasks anymore unless you activate them again. Now, this view shows a flattened list of tasks. And let's assume that you want to see only the subtasks within this view, but still see the reference to the parent task because that's useful to know whether a task is actually a subtask. For that, you could add 
put a filter in here to show only those tasks where the parent task is not empty. When you add this filter, you will then see only the subtasks and the referenced parent task grayed out minimally within the same row. If you were to apply this filter and display subtasks nested in toggle, you will see that the parent item will still be visible on the view, but grayed out. And that's because the filter doesn't apply to that page. And that's why it's grayed out but it's still there because you're using the nested view. So when using this kind of filter, I do believe that having a flattened list is cleaner to keep things very simple, not have grayed out items that might be confusing to some users, especially if you're not using Notion just by yourself. And finally, another thought you might have is, does the parent task become automatically done when all the subtasks are complete? And the answer to that right now is no, that doesn't happen automatically. So if all the subtasks are done, the parent task doesn't turn into done automatically. For example, let's do it here. And you can see that the parent task still remains in progress. So natively in Notion right now, it is not possible to set the parent task to done when all the subtasks are complete. That is quite easily achievable using the Notion API instead, where you can query the subtasks and then update the parent task status accordingly. Otherwise, natively, at least for the time being, you can set the parent task status to done manually when all the subtasks are complete. That concludes the overview of sub items in Notion databases, how to display them, how to use them, and play around with different views and filters within the parent and sub items framework in Notion databases.